Hi and welcome back to another episode of Fingerboard TV, sitting in front of the Fast Fingers contest in the grass, uh, very sunny outside. Uh, today our guests are the creators of PopDeck, so maybe just introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Tom from PopDecks. Yeah, I'm from Dresden, fingerboarding since, I don't know, much more than 10 years now. And yeah, and this is my partner. <laughs> yeah, I'm Wille, that's my nickname. Um, <laughs> I'm also fingerboarding for 10, 12 years. I love it. Fingerboarding is life, my life. And to be here, fun. Yeah, fingerboarding. <laughs> Okay, uh, maybe tell us something about the um, process of doing a pop deck. <laughs> I start. Um, yeah, the main process is nearly the same as with uh, all the other wooden fingerboards, but what we do special is that we paint every board by hand and do it since since the beginning. The first decks I made were hand painted by me and. Also hand present. <laughs> yeah, uh, at, at the very start I also didn't have a mold to press the decks and did it all by hand. Uh, yeah, and they were pretty good to ride and there were many kids uh, writing to me, can I get a custom deck and with a special graphic no one else has and stuff like that. So I started to do more decks and but uh, yeah, up to still today we do these unique boards with only one of a kind all, all the time. Yeah. And the rest is like with every other deck, I think. <laughs> so, Villa, anything to add? Fingerboarding. No, um, the, the process, yeah. Um, everything is by hand. Everything. Every step is by hand paint by hand uh, the shape we make it by hand um system born drill we drill it by hand no big machine like this um i'm um the luck clear code the clear code i make it with hand um also the the ply the ply side, where you see the plies, I make it by hand, the lines, and it's a crazy job. Um, maybe 15, 15 fingerboards a day, 10, yeah. We have a lot of artists, uh, art uh, students, and it's crazy to, to have lots of, 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 of styles, different styles, uh, paint styles, graffiti styles, no printing. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> uh, I gotta add something. Um, I have to add the, the nowadays the molds are quite professional. We don't really press them by hand anymore. <laughs> it was only the first year or something. <coughs> but now we use professional molds and glues and stuff. But it's still all done by hand. Yeah. So there are no wooden molds anymore. <laughs> no wooden what? No wooden molds. No, 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 <laughs> no. It's so the beginner stuff. Some more professional stuff now. <laughs> Okay, uh, so how can I imagine you producing a deck? So uh, do you got a room where you do it, a fabric, something like that, or do you do it at home? Uh, it's all happening in my living room, <laughs> <laughs> which is not really a living room anymore. <laughs> but no, it's a dirty room. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, wood. yeah, we meet every morning at nine o'clock and start with chilling and <laughs> breakfast and yeah. then we go to work and paint and drill and sand and right stuff. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's our day. <laughs> yeah. okay. So is it a full time job? Does it, so do you do fingerboards for a living or do you get other jobs? That's our goal. Uh, that's the real job okay. for both, yeah. So you both no. live by fingerboards? Yeah. It's hard to pay my apartment every month, but we get it, we must get it, we check it, 
so we have a trip to America um, one month ago we visited Mike at Mike's flat um, yeah that was a, a big uh, yeah experience and a little bit more beginning uh, lots of guys in America uh, check ah pop takes ah okay that's handmade shit and stuff like this and now we we see it on Facebook or also here the guys come say hello that's nice yeah mm -hmm. you already mentioned that you got the hand-painted decks so it's a lot of art in your work uh, all the decks look different and they are hand-painted there's no uh, print on it like the other companies um, you said you work with uh, several artists together yeah, um, over the years, many friends of us um, discovered the boards and said, hey, can I draw one for you? And I always said, yeah, sure, and <laughs> do it. Um, and now we got some some of the really talented guys uh, now constantly do graphics for us. And I'm really happy about that because uh, it's hard to always be that creative to do new styles every day and we try to not do styles twice or even more and that's really hard to don't always have that creativity to do it that fast and yeah and these all these guys all the artists painting our boards have some relation to skateboarding at least or, or even fingerboarding I think all of them fingerboard, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's really cool. They love it. We love it. It's a lifestyle. <laughs> okay, you said it's a lifestyle. Do you think that uh, hand painted boards or some boards with um, more art in it are better for the community than boards which are printed? You know? Uh, so, do you think it's better to do them? as a unique board or do you think it's better to do mass production to uh, fit the needs of the scene? I think you can say one thing is better than the other. It's, it, I think it's important that everything is there. <laughs> you can get everything. Some kids don't care about the graphic. They buy a blank board or something or rip it that hard. The graphic's gone after two days. And there are other guys who want a special board no one else has. and something custom made and yeah I think it's important that you can that the kids are able to to get all that stuff yeah to have a choice <laughs> okay. anything to add um, I like also printed text um, that's like the real skateboarding sure. it's also printed but I think kids need also uh, changes because we our fingerboarding philosophy is 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 different to other companies yeah um, we love it every day it's hard to create every day uh, a graphic I can sit also on the on the table and I look and I look one hour <laughs> On the deck is nothing. <laughs> it's also blank. Yeah, that's. But I like both printed text and unique text. But hand painted is the shit. <laughs> um, I think for me the, the the main point to start this this unique decks uh, was w when I was ordering my first wooden deck. I was so disappointed I couldn't choose which graphic I, I can get. I knew all that great Berlin wood styles with the nice woods and colors and stuff and when I ordered online I, <laughs> I couldn't choose which one I get and I got exactly what I didn't want. It. <laughs> so yeah, I wanted a red, red nice veneer and I got a blue standard veneer <laughs> and it sucked so and yeah I, I thought it would be so cool if there would be boards where you can really get what you really want yeah. Okay. Yeah. your um, biz got a lot of boost during the last year so um, times before pop was a company under thousands of companies and now 
Pop is a company that's very huge, that sells during the Black River uh, web shop and stuff like that. So how does it get to that point, you know? So how did you get to the point? Uh, I think one of the main things that helped us getting bigger and more well known is the collaboration with Black River. Uh, we were so lucky, the guys supporting us that way and doing an article about our decks and the magazine and stuff. And yeah, it was some years ago when they, when this, when Black River decided to support brands that they know are cool, <laughs> <laughs> really have a connection to fingerboarding, really love that stuff, and really know the community. And yeah, we were one of that brands, and we're fucking happy about that because yeah. Black River is the shit yeah. <laughs> and yeah um, and also I think all the contests we did maybe helped also we always do them at the first of May the contest in Dresden and it's getting bigger every year and yeah we drive to all the contests we can and stuff and I think these two things were supporting us the most You already mentioned the uh, Erster Mai contest, you do. Um, I think it's one of the few contests in Eastern Germany during the year. So maybe you tell something about the contest you do. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, at the 1st of May in Dresden there's a huge um, skate contest since more than 10 years I think yeah. now. And five years ago because I know the owner of the, of the skate shop in Dresden who uh, does the contest. Uh, I talked to him and asked him if we could do a fingerboard can contest there too, five years ago, and he was, he was stoked. He likes fingerboarding very much too. And yeah, then we started very small with a few guys. But Harry, for example, have been there the first year yeah. too. And, and Dimitri, that was crazy, that was so cool. And yeah, and then we do it every year now and it's still growing. This year was awesome. All the, the Berlin guys, Timo Lieven has been there and Martin Winkler. Yeah, we really had a good time and I hope next year I see you all there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's get it on a um, personal level. I know you are doing a lot of music stuff and stuff like that. Do you do music too? No. <laughs> uh, yeah. So then tell me something about the music. So I've heard uh, some guitar stuff and it, it's, it sounds like singer-songwriter stuff. Yeah, yeah, I something do. I have to categorize it. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, but it's not possible with my music. <laughs> no, the thing is uh, I do everything. I play uh, guitar since, I don't know, 12 years or something. Uh, yeah, I just do it for my own writing songs and stuff. I don't really record much of it. What you may notice is the, the video music I often do on my own because I also do electronic music a lot on the computer. That's what I uh, bring. To bring out. Uh, that's what you maybe can hear of my music at MySpace and stuff. It's the electronic stuff. Yeah. Music, I love it. <laughs> Life would be shit without music. <laughs> I think it's always entertaining to hear from people out of the fingerboard scene who are doing decks or trucks or wheels or stuff like that. So you know the faces, you know what they're doing, but you don't know anything about their, per their personal life. Um, but uh, very interesting about all the music stuff. Um, maybe you got some last words? Anything? <laughs> Shoutouts to the fingerboard scene. Thank you for the interview. Um, thanks for Martin Beckman. Thank you. <laughs> And five fingers, four fingers. That's the shit. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta say thank you too. Big up to Fingerboard TV, the guys. Um, yeah, keep fingerboarding. Keep two fingers. <laughs> keep clean. Keep it clean. Two fingers, please. <laughs> AKA Vicious. No. Um, <laughs> yeah. Stay tuned with Fingerboard TV and thank you. <laughs> so, one last question. We're at the Fast Fingers and the videos are um, uploaded to the internet 
some weeks after Fast Fingers. So now you can place a bet on who is winning Fast Fingers and maybe you're right and maybe you're not. So we'll see in some weeks. So who we get when we're right. <laughs> 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 Nothing. Uh, <laughs> it's just for fun. So but who do you think will win Fast Fingers 15? Villa. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. He has to win. Yeah, of course me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> <laughs> no, what's my wish? Um, um, the shyest guy, Tim Teichert. <laughs> <Would be cool. laughs> no, well, maybe if it's not Wille, it may be Petro Pacek. I wish it to him but because he always gets the second place and stuff. <laughs> Would be cool for him, I think. Yeah, And he's so good. Oh, Mr. Peter Pitacek, he's a great guy. So I hope he wins too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Peter, we press. You know, <laughs> we hope for you. So this was our interview with the pop guys. Uh, we are chilling in the sun right now. We stay here, I think. Or we go inside and <laughs> yeah, do some advertising. So we're out. Goodbye.